Hi everybody, my name is David Nates and welcome back to my show where we speak about movie related stuff. Today's topic is what are the major differences between stage and film? Having lived in Los Angeles for the past 19 years and taken a multitude of different acting classes, I have come to realize that there are many differences between acting for the stage and for the camera. When most people come to the City of Angels, they have starry eyes and big hopes of being the next big Hollywood blockbuster. In order to do that, actors end up taking acting classes. But it sometimes takes time to realize that different classes will actually train you in different styles of acting. It seems obvious, but at least for myself, it took me a while to realize. I do love the theater and think that it's a good base, but if you want to act in a movie, you must understand that both styles of acting are extremely different. This is why knowing what medium you want to act for will save you an enormous amount of time and energy. These are my biggest differences between stage and film. Number one, stage actors need to be heard in the back row. Theater acting means that the room can be huge, which means that in order to convey the story of the play to the audience, you have to be able to be heard from the first row to the last row. This translates the same way with the movement and reactions. You have to be big, you have to be present and in the moment. But if your acting is too subtle, then the people will not understand your emotions. Camera acting, well, it's much more subtle. You can literally whisper your lines, although it's still recommended not to be too low. Even though you're mic'd, you still have to be heard. The acting in itself will be much more subtle. You have to be aware of the camera and how to be subtle in your movements in order to convey the emotion for the camera. Sometimes just tilting your head too high or too low will give you a very different emotion. Things do change for sitcom acting because it's a bit more similar to the stage. Angles are usually wider and you might have a three or four camera setup. Number two, the material is not known by the audience. Especially if you are acting in a classic Shakespeare play or just a classic in general, people often go to the theater knowing what to expect. They might have read the material prior to coming to watch it, or they've seen another performance of it. Being a classic means that the play has been done by numerous companies over decades or even centuries. An actor performing in a classic must be able to hit the text correctly and perform the character in an authentic manner. There are new plays too and variations of classic plays, but even with that, usually plays are directed in such a way that it must stay true to the material. Every performance should be very similar. Acting for film is usually not known by the audience. Even though we do have a ton of remakes nowadays, they are usually updated to fit within the context of a reboot or modernization. Also, filmmaking is often much quicker and shorter dialogue that has been written not too long ago, so there isn't too much fear of changing the dialogue at the last second while filming it because, well, the film is still taking shape. Number three, the characters aren't iconic. The characters and plays are known by theater buffs, which means that you have to stay true to the author's initial performance. Again, there are new plays being made, but a ton of plays have been performed in other locations, so each actor being cast in it must resemble the actor in the other performance and act similarly. Otherwise, well, people will not feel that the play is fatal to the original. Of course, there are adaptations and modernizations, but most often they are done by more experimental theaters. In film, people have most probably not been introduced to the character yet. Once again, there are a ton of reboots and remakes nowadays, so these actors will be judged and compared to the original actors portraying it. But for the purpose of this video, we'll focus on original content. The director of the movie will have his or her acting style and will want the actors in the film to portray the character in a specific way, but they are working with new material that might even be changing on the day of the shoot. This is it for my major differences between film and theater acting. As per usual, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. I love doing these videos and answering your messages. If you have a specific topic that you'd like me to explore, well, feel free to leave me a comment. I read each and every one of them. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.